I'm really excited what God's doing with this book. And I just want you guys to be aware that it's coming to a town near you. The book is called Never Alone, and it's written by Juan Canales. And uh, it's a true story, and it will completely blow your mind. My heart has always been in, in, on man, talking to the man of the family, talking to uh, the young adults of the family, to let them understand that there's more than life than what they think. In the book, we talk about having a death certificate and how the death certificate came about. There is a, uh, a child that was actually reported dead, and that child was supposed to be me. Um, it was just kind of surreal walking into the cemetery because I got a chance to actually visit the gravesite where I was supposed to be buried at. I just, I just felt led that I f felt like somebody needed to pay their respects to that kid that nobody has seen for 29 years. So it was just a real, real significant moment in my life and uh, retract the steps that somebody decided to say they speak dead over me. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to pay my respects of whoever was in that tomb. So earlier this year, I got the opportunity to go back to California, and it was a pretty amazing thing. Yeah, walking the streets where I grew up at, uh, walking on the streets where I was homeless. Well, now, more than ever, I understand that the main reason how I made it, you know, I know that God's always been there for me. Um, that's one of the main reasons why we decided to title the book Never Alone, just to let people understand that it doesn't matter what you're going through. Even when I didn't know God, He was still there with me. And he was just waiting on me to actually accept him and to actually walk in a deeper relationship with him. So the day that I ended up turning myself um, into immigration officials, in my eyes, I didn't commit any crime. You know, I, I came into this country at a young age. Um, I didn't have no choice over it. But not only that, this is what I call home. This is the country that I was raised in. This is the country that I learned my history from. I've been through a lot of stuff that a lot of different groups have been through. Um, you want to talk about, you know, uh, a men's ministry and not only that, but like what men go through on a daily basis. Not only that, but like a young adult, what young adults struggle with. Um, talk to teachers as well. Um, let them know what their students are thinking, what they're going through in life, what different walks of life it is. Um, even in talking to, as a, to a women's group, you want to talk about abuse and you know just different things in their lives that they have they have to overcome. When we grow up, we don't grow up with dealing with just one specific thing. We deal with a lot of different things in our lives. And again, you know, the main thing I wanted to do with this book and and my ministry is just ministry to 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 people that are hurting broken and making sure that they understand that there's better things in life for them. Every young adult needs a role model. They need a, they need a, a person that, that affirms them and let them know that they're doing good, even when they do wrong, to make sure that they love on them and not, not only that, but accepts them. Um, you know, growing up, I didn't I didn't have that, and I had to rely on on teachers, on, on, on people that will speak life into me. Um, and I keep saying it, everywhere I go, I keep talking about my teacher. There's a teacher in California and when I was in middle school. And I was going through a lot of tough times. You know, I was in gangs, I was running drugs, pretty much doing all evilness that you could think of as a young adult. And there was nobody there. There was nobody there to actually mentor me. Um, but the teachers play a good role in, in my life. And when I decided to start turning my life around and trying to do things right, the five most important words that I ever heard in life and that's just, that's, that's always captured me. And the words were, surround yourself by good people. You surround yourself by good people and you're gonna start doing good things. And that's just the main thing, the main focus of my life at that point in time when I was young. So yeah, you, you need a role model. Young people need a role model. And it is important for me, that's, that's part of my heart, just ministry to, to young adults. And it starts from a young age because that young adult eventually is gonna become an adult and they're eventually gonna start making decisions in their lives whether that, that's gonna matter a lot, especially when they start having kids. So that's how, I, that's how I think ministry should be done into the young lives. So I wanna let you guys know, it doesn't matter where you start, it matters where you finish.